Good morning, it's Jesse from One Site Solutions. I'm delighted to welcome in our valued partner, Phoenix Contact today. We're gonna to be taking a deep dive into the ILC controller, and we're gonna be looking at the unique hardware properties that it brings to the table, and the types of applications that it's most suitable for. So I'd like to hand over to Deepan to, uh, to give us an overview of the hardware itself. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. So um, I'm Deepan Patel, Industry Manager for Phoenix Contact, and we have the ILC 2050 BI controller. Um, the controller is Niagara based, so it's very powerful because it offers the great powerful benefits of Niagara. And you can see just from a hardware point, it's got four Ethernet ports um, on the controller as well. And there's two network interface cards. So that allows the uh, building manager or the operator to have multiple kind of networks on um, one single controller without having to have a, an added Ethernet switch or anything like that as well. Um, the RS-485 ports, you've actually got two uh, on the ILC controller as well. So it offers expansion capabilities on the Modbus without having to purchase further additional Modbus modules. Um, and it's powered 24 volt DC as well, so that's the black slice here. Um, and all the sort of diagnostics, you can actually uh, get access into the diagnostics platform using the, the USB port as well. Fantastic, and it's running the full Niagara stack, right, Deepan? So it's anybody indeed. who's trained and familiar with Niagara can just pick up the ILC and start working with it. It is indeed, yeah. So it's, it's really great. You, you, universal as well because of the fact of it being Niagara and you can see the footprint so it's an yeah. 80 mil footprint so it's very very compact in any type of application for building um, requirements as well so absolutely and it it can be extended almost infinitely with uh, you've, you've got a wide catalogue of slices which which bring in a complete different mix of bio that uh, that no other Niagara controller can offer in the marketplace it, absolutely, yeah, Jesse. So we have a uh, different range of I.O. options, so digital, analog, um, even relay modules as well, so okay. we also support. The, this controller on one single controller can sort up to 63 I.O. modules. Okay. So the expansion capability as small as, um, well, this is an eight channel digital input module, okay. and uh, we can go high up as a 32 digital uh, channel input module. Okay. So it's, um, you know, the expansion capabilities, up to 63 IO modules can be connected on one single controller. And, and how do they fit on? So yeah, so um, good question. So we basically have a terminal block that unplugs um, like so. You've got some gold pins and what you do is you basically line the pins up, you slide it down, obviously this will be connected on DIN rail, and then you would come in uh, clipping your uh, previous terminal block like so and then that's now connected connected along the bus and everything as well. Super simple. So. And I guess that uh, another benefit is is that these, these uh, you can directly wire your field wiring to these terminals so you don't need separate terminal strips in your panels. That's another great space saving feature. Yeah, yeah. So the um, it's not screw or anything, so it's all cage clamped. So what it does is it will offer all the, the sort of three types um, stranded Feralled or, or solid cables into your channels as well. Okay. Um, and again, you've obviously got the, the connection to expand. So very, very scalable in terms of your application uh, requirements. So as, as low as a few digital inputs um, or analog points or up to 63 as well. So uh, you know, if you've got an application with a high digital count, for example, it can meet those that as well. And, and it's licensed in the same way as any other Niagara controller, so you, you, you just buy your point packs based on the, the number of data points that you're integrating from all those different serial lines. And that can be anything from backnet through to you have Dali slices, so lighting applications, <coughs> as well as regular in integrations. Yeah, yeah, so we, we have support for Dali, uh, Dali 2 as well now, so we've got a native module that gets connected. So a lot of applications, you might be looking at having to use a gateway to bring in your Dali network. Right. We have a Dali module that natively supports on the single 
uh, the bus system itself. So there's uh, an added benefit for the yeah. market to be able to uh, take advantage of. Um, the BACnet you mentioned, so the Ethernet IP uh, port will allow you to use BACnet IP. If you need BACnet MSTP as well, we offer that with, via the RS-485 ports as well. So, um, and that offers a wide range of types of applications for lighting um, and building control as well with BACnet. Extreme flexibility. Yeah, I, I'd say so. And, and we've got a quite a wide range of customers that, that uses the, the platform together. If you want to start small and you grow as the building grows or as the home automation platform grows, bringing in so temperature sensors and things like that, you can build as you grow along as well. And obviously Fantastic. the licensing model that the Niagara platform supports uh, further complements the, the hardware that we provide. Sure. So you can retrospectively add data points to the Niagara uh, instance as well as as well as hard, additional hardware connection points through slices. That's right, absolutely, yeah. So we've, we've got a very powerful um, hardware solution that complements both our hardware from Phoenix Contact and also the software that Niagara provide to market. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Thanks very much for your time today, Deepan. That's been really informative. I hope everybody watching has found it useful. Uh, we've got good supply, good stock of ILCs at the moment, so please get in touch with One Size Solutions today and discuss your next project. Thank you, Deepan. Thank you, Jesse.